everybody. Just out enjoying this beautiful day. I have 66 degrees here in sunny California, and it's lovely. And I have a guest with me today. Can't get with me. I'm here. <laughs> enjoying this 66 degree weather out here. Why don't you come take the lead, baby? Coming on your left. We seem to be the only two bikes out today. That's what it seems like. Yep. So, Kick and I were talking while we was riding this road and we were talking about bikes that we would not ride. So I cut her off and we never finished the conversation because I asked her a question. So this is going to be the topic of today. The question is, what would you ride if? What would you ride if? Now, is that thing alive? Yeah, that's squirrel. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> kind of bold, huh? Yep. <laughs> okay, let me get back to the question. What would you ride if? If you wake up tomorrow morning, I need some, some throttle. If you wake up tomorrow morning and wherever you park your bike, YouTube, wherever you park your bike, it is gone. Your bike <laughs> I will is be calling missing. the police. <laughs> Hold on, I'm going to let you answer the question. Let me finish the, 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 the question first, baby. Cool. Oh, it's a question. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, if you wake up that morning and your bike is gone, what would you ride? Now, here's the scenario. We ride Honda Gold Wings, and if we wake up tomorrow and there's no such thing as a Honda Gold Wing, matter of fact, we didn't call the police and we didn't check with everybody and found out Honda never have made motorcycles. Never have, never will. They only make cars. So that's the question. What would you ride if you wake up and your bike is gone? Now, what we're talking about is the whole manufacturer's gone and it never existed. Yesterday, you know you rode the bike you rode, but today, the manufacturer never existed. So if you ride a Harley, in your mind, you know there was a Harley Davidson's, but now it never existed. No matter where you check, nobody ever heard of Harley Davidson's except you. What bike would you go with? Same thing with every other bike. You ride a Yamaha, a Suzuki, a Kawasaki, Ducati, whatever the brand may be, it no longer exists. So. And there's no parts to make the bike? No, the bike never existed. So that you can't make you can't make that bike because it never existed. But it's only in your mind because the day before, you know you were riding whatever brand you ride. That goes with you know, people that have brand loyalty, they've been saying, uh-oh. Now, when you, when you guys, when you answer this question, make sure you put it in the, the comment section below. When you answer this question, the, the answer cannot be, I would never ride again. Because if you're a rider, regardless of what, you have to go get you another bike. But that manufacturer never existed. So whatever you ride and you go looking for that bike, that manufacturer never existed. And the second part of the question is, what type of bike would you ride? Would you stick with what you ride? See, I ride a big touring bike, so would I stick with what I ride or would I change bikes and go to an adventure bike, off-road bike, a sports bike, or whatever the case may be? That's the question. Now, another part of this is you have to go get you another bike. And when you go to the dealer, the bike is absolutely free, so you don't have to pay for the bike. You're going to get you a brand new bike, and it's absolutely free. So making a left up here at the stop sign. Copy that left at the stop sign. So for us, we have three Hondas in our garage. Cake has hers, I have mine, and our daughter have a Honda. So when we wake up, for us, all three of the bikes will be gone. So now we gotta figure out what type of bike we wanna ride. Alright, Cake, you got all that? I got it. Because I ride a uh, right now. It's my F6B. Flat six bagger, 1800 gold wing, didn't exist. What bike would you ride? First of all, let me ask you, what brand would you turn to? I will go to um, a Victory. All right. And not the big one, not the well, one with the trunk. There are several Victories. So you, you said but it not would the be big the, one. the Victory touring bike. So you would stay with a touring bike? A touring bike, yeah. Why? Because I, 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 do, I do a lot of riding. I do long distance riding. And I, I want comfort and I want to feel 
the control that I have over the, the had over my big bike, I want to keep that that comfort comfortability. The two touring bikes, the two touring bike that Victory, well, two I don't really know because I was going to get a Victory at once, is the Vision. That's the bike that uh, remember we met with with uh, Craig from Living Off the Slab. Yes. That was a Vic. That was the Vision, and then there's that cross country which you can take the trunk off actually you can take the trunk off both bikes it's just that cross country is easier so your answer is victory and I'm guessing it will be a cross country that's it'll be the cross country one the one without the trunk it has a trunk that don't have the trunk that can take the trunk off okay man. all right okay now you heard what she write here's my answer YouTube so make sure you put your answers in the comments below my answer would be First of all, yes, I would stay with a touring bike because I ride a big gold wing now and I love riding cross country just like she said. We love riding cross country and I want the most comfortable bike I can have and for me it would be a touring bike. I would not switch to a, a sports bike or anything like that. And I would probably go with an Indian. An Indian? Yep, I've seen big Indians, and I, I think I would like the big Indian. Obviously, if I get on an Indian that's not comfortable, I would make it comfortable for me. So, if you guys don't know, the best touring motorcycle on the planet, make sure you watch the video. I would tag it at the end of this, and I'd give you my opinion on what's the best touring motorcycle bike on the planet. So, yeah, I would, I would, I would go with Indian. And obviously, I would, I would test rides some of them, especially since in this scenario, we're getting them free. And yeah, that, that'll be my answer. Just because I want the trunk and I want the saddlebags. I want the big back seat so I can put my back bag on the back and ride in comfort. That would be my decision. We got we to gotta ask Nikisha that question because she ride, she ride the, uh, the cruiser. The Shadow 750 Sasha Red that you used to have. So I asked her the question of what she want to ride. So there it is, YouTube, out on this beautiful day on the back country road here in Antioch, California, heading out to Brentwood, California, where out where we live. The road of our backyard. Oh yeah. And the question, like I said, you can't say, well, I would never ride again. No, 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 no. We are bikers. You love riding, you will pick a bike up, you just gotta answer. Which manufacturer you would go to, and what type of bike would you ride? Would you stay with what you have, or would you get a new bike? You wouldn't get you a speed bike? No, been there, done that. <laughs> <laughs> Not interested in that anymore. I mean, yeah, if I could choose two, but in this scenario, we only picking one. We can't choose two. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so there it is, YouTube. Make sure you answer that in the comments below. But I'm interested in finding out will people. What bike would people go to? So if you're riding Harley, would you go to Honda? Would you go to Suzuki? Would you go to Yamaha, Kawasaki, Ducati? Would you ride the same type of bike if you're riding a Harley? Or would you switch to a off-road bike? Would you put your adventure bike? Things like that. This, that's the answer we are looking for. My and, second choice would be a dirt bike. Well, Which there's thing? no second choice in this scenario. <laughs> I don't so, get a second choice. I can go nope. ride, ride some dirt bikes, you know. <laughs> Nope. Do some spins, flip nope. over backwards and mountain. Because you only get you only get one choice of what bike you get, because that's free. All right. So you don't have to worry about purchasing it. Okay. All right. All right. I so stick that, with my victory. All right then. Yeah. So tell us what would you ride if you could no longer ride that BMW. So we're going to this this right here. We might we might do another vlog depending on if we come up with another subject. I don't know. But we're going in this one right here. So make sure you put the answers below. Subscribe to the channel and after you subscribe, go on hit that notification bell. So if we do do a video today, you will be notified when we put up another video. And don't forget to like and share it also. Until then, what you got to ride long, ride hard, ride strong, and most importantly, ride safe. Richard Cake from Boots and Jeans Riding, we out. Peace. Peace. Take that left right there, baby.